What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome and I did a bunch of tests on these different props, right? Master Airscrew makes some four blade and some three blade props and how do they stack up against the traditional five blade props that come with your Avada? I'm gonna look at seven different metrics to help you decide should you opt for different propellers. We're gonna look at price, sound, design, speed and acceleration, handling, flight time and efficiency, and the amount of thrust that each one of these props generates. Now these are not scientific tests, but just kind of backyard tests that I've done with this Avada. I fly this thing a ton. Uh, I love this as a chase vehicle. I'm following e-bikes, scooters, skateboards, people, cars, and I really like using the Avada, and I wanted to get just a little bit more speed, and I thought a propeller is an easy way to do that, right? You could do a whole kit, and that involves taking this part and conversions and gonna ruin the warranty. It's also a lot simpler just to change propellers, so I wanna know, do these make this better? Well, let's find out. Okay, so first things first, these master air screw props are more expensive, basically double, right? You can get a set of four for 19 bucks, whereas right now the DJI traditional manufacturer prop is $9. Are they worth an extra 10 bucks? That's really the question we need to answer. Now changing the propellers is fairly simple. Flip it over. Uh, there are two screws on each. Make sure you're using the tool that came with the Avada and you have to make sure the propeller pitches match on the diagonal. So just take a look at how the propeller looks on the Avada before you take it off, match the pitch, and then put it back on. They're gonna have to match on the diagonal. This is a standard props in configuration. On the traditional DJI propeller, we see this little orange dot, and the motor has an orange dot, and all the master air screws, that orange dotted one has this little line to kind of indicate uh, which way these things spin. So you can't just randomly put on any propeller on any motor. You have to make sure they match. Remember, diagonals have the same pitch um, as each other and across are opposite. And the first thing you'll notice when you put these props on is they sound different. Now, are they actually quieter? Not really. They just have a different pitch. I'll let you listen and decide which one of these pitches do you think sounds the most pleasant. Now, of course, sound is very objective, so you get to make the decision on your own. All right, now let's look at the way these things are designed. Um, and I think this is actually where the magic happens. These master air screw props are just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit bigger um, than the traditional DJI ones, right? Um, they're just a little bit longer from the center. Um, I think that's where the supposed advantage comes from, right? We've got this four blade design. They have a handful of different colors, right? Um, and I would say, I don't know, in terms of these feel a little bit more plasticky where these feel a little bit more rigid. Um, even when they drop, right? They sound, they sound different, right? We got a little bit more of a hard feel to the DJI prop. So it's a little bit more sturdy perhaps, but you know, we're talking about prop guards. Does that matter? I don't know. I also like the idea that you can get these in various different colors. Um, at one point I was putting different ones on the front and the back so you can tell the front or the rear, but then I realized, you know, I'm always flying this thing with goggles. Does it actually matter? I don't know, but color is, you know, a fun little addition. The other thing that actually I don't think should be overlooked is your ability to access the SD card. That was such a pain in the butt with the original props and with the both the three and the four blade, I just have more clearance here. That's actually really nice. So I do like this feature here, being able to get to the props, 
with this five blade there just is way less space in between the props and it's a pain you don't want to take these things off and on to get at the sd card uh, it takes about five minutes to change these props so let's put these props on this scale and see what they weigh starting with the traditional dji props we're getting nine grams three blade props we're getting 13 and the four blade props eight grams so these are the lightest of the bunch okay so what about speed are they actually faster so i did two in the field tests um and i'm gonna tell you right off the bat they weren't super scientific i did one uh where i put it up and then i flew it back and forth uh trying to get to top speed in sport mode um zero to 28 miles an hour is kind of what i graphed uh in terms of timing then i did a zero to 100 basically a blast off i did them in sport mode um just because i thought that that would be a little bit more controlled than manual then i went ahead and flew in manual so um let me give you the results from the sport mode speed test zero to 28 actually my three blades were the slowest at 4.4 seconds um and then the traditional and the four blades tied at four 0.3 seconds um really pretty darn close uh there's definitely a little bit of margin of error so we're going to kind of almost call that a push now the blast off the zero to 100 feet five blades took 5.2 seconds three blades took 5.1 seconds and the winner there was the four blade at four and a half seconds these master air screw props do boast longer flight times and i can verify that that actually was the case for me now the way you fly absolutely is going to impact how much time you get um, so let's just kind of break down uh, how i was flying and the flight times that i got so with a five blade i was able to get about 8.6 seconds per battery percentage or about 14 minutes and 40 seconds per battery now i was flying in sport mode very fast then i was flying in manual mode very fast and twitchy um so that is that's how i flew with all of these right so uh 1440 on the five blades uh the three blades came in next at about nine and a half seconds per percentage or roughly 16 minutes and 20 seconds of flight time the four blades were the best at just over 16 and a half minutes or almost 9.6 seconds per percentage Okay, so I also flew them in manual mode just to kind of see how did they fly, where there was one more maneuverable than the other. And really, honestly, between the four blade and the five blade, I didn't feel a whole lot of difference. I kind of feel like they were roughly the same. So I'm gonna kind of give that a wash. But when I went to the three blades, it just, I didn't like how that flew at all. It just felt a lot twitchier and uh, I was kind of over correcting a little bit more. So uh, I definitely like the way that the four or the five blade flew but i wasn't a huge fan of the three blade okay and the last test that we did was a thrust test so chris built this really awesome contraption and we've done a few uh thrust tests in the past and you want to see how this setup actually works and some other drones that we've tested and what's good and what's bad and how it all works um i'll leave a link down below to that video you can check that out on your own time but basically we strap the avada down and we you know take off and and calculate how much thrust is it creating and then we can do a thrust to weight ratio in third place generating 989 grams of thrust was the five blade traditional prop that's not bad that's 2.4 thrust to weight ratio and that's okay the air screw three blade prop was second in the test creating uh, 1024 grams of thrust that's a 2.5 thrust to weight ratio just a little bit better you guess it the winner was the four blade prop generating 1089 grams of thrust that's good for a 2.6 almost 2.7 thrust to weight ratio so this guy was definitely the winner all right so if you've been paying attention you probably know the conclusion that i'm going to come to and that is i'm going with the four blade props uh, i've got more power i've got more flight time and i have access to my sd card all of those things sound like a win to me now they're a little bit more expensive so you kind of have to figure that out yourself anyway i hope this was helpful if it was give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um, and if you're thinking about going pro right you want to do professional drone videos i've got a whole part 107 uh curriculum for my patrons uh so if you're thinking about doing that 
consider checking that out. Uh, there's a link down below. Also, make sure you check out some of our other Avada videos, other drone videos, e-bike videos. We'd love for you to be a subscriber. And if, you know, you thought we did a good job of reviewing these props, check out the links down below. They are affiliate links, and they do help support the channel. Thanks for watching. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.